Ooh da lolly. Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Zareth Prevails. I'm apparently wearing my headphones and I don't know why, so let's just take those off real quick. And, alright, <laughs> no headphones. Look at that, fancy. Who knew? So, today guys, we're gonna talk about, <laughs> who knew what? I, I also don't know. <laughs> alright, so we're gonna talk about 5v5 and what we're gonna do with all of the Galactic Legend and of Galactic Legend related teams. I think there's 10 of them and it's, it's a tricky situation because all these different Galactic Legends want a bunch of different characters. Jedi Master Kenobi has really made the whole Jedi situation pretty weird right now and also I think the team that's most affected by it ironically is just Padme. And, uh, you know, Padme wouldn't be the last person, or it wouldn't be the last time that a Galactic Legend level character uh, tried to lure her man away uh, into their squad. But, uh, that being said, we gotta figure out what we're gonna do. So, Jedi Master Kenobi, the thing is, guys, we don't have Cat yet. When we get Cat, I think she'll just go with someone else. Like, probably, maybe just go with Padme, maybe go with Rey, maybe go with any number of team, Bam would be good, but uh, that I don't think she's gonna go with Kenobi. I think that Kiati Mundi boosts the team too much for that to actually happen. And so I think the Kenobi team will end up being something like this. Uh, the thing is, and it makes me sad to admit it, Kenobi here, General Kenobi, he keeps, he keeps wandering around trying to go wherever, like, he used to be on Jedi Revan. He used to be lo a loyalist to Jedi Revan. And before that, I guess he was a loyalist to any other team. As long as you had him upgraded, he was on your arena team. Because he used to be such a good tank that that was how it went. But you have Kenobi uh, with Kenobi. Th those two... It <sighs> He's just too good. I, I don't. I think like people who are relic, who are upping Mace are going to be a little bit disappointed. But one way, or, one way or another, we need a tank on this team. Kenobi is probably the right one. Maybe Mace against the weaker teams. But uh, the thing is, we're probably going to keep Kenobi on offense because on defense he is a liability to some degree. Even if you put the right teams and characters and stuff with them, I do think it's going to be difficult. So we have that. We have we have General Kenobi. I think he's going to be there. Kiedi Monday. He's been dreaming of this day for too long to actually ignore. He's going to he's going to be uh, with all the Galactic Republic Jedi. He's he's excited. He is like that dude on in the Lego Movie who's like gonna build the 80s spaceship. He's he's that enthusiastic. He is so excited. And uh, Ahsoka, man, it's almost like her kit was built for Kenobi. Or Kenobi was built with her kit in mind. She assists uh, about a million, uh, uh, approximately one million, and that uh, that's really nice. Um, I put Ayla here. I, you could probably put most Galactic Republic Jedi that are decent. Uh, it, it makes me sad to have her to lose her from the Jedi Master Luke team because you can play Wackamole. Um, I mean, you, you could probably place. Uh, I don't know. Just it, it, it all just depends. What which characters are we gonna place? Who really knows? Ayla though is good just because Galactic Republic. She calls assists sometimes. She stuns. She she's good. She's fine. Uh, you, do we need her? to do anything, I, I don't know. Uh, this this team is confounding though, because you see that Padme is here, and what what else? So she can maybe keep Anakin, and you know, Anakin might be good on this squad too as the fifth, to be honest, but, but then what do you do with Padme? So uh, Padme and Anakin are kind of the closed system, like they're, they're they're the two best together anyways. They're gonna have a lot of synergy. Unfortunately, you don't have Kenobi or Ahsoka to make it good. You have a bunch of other Galactic Republic nobodies who can just hang out. Plo Koon is worthless with her because they, well, not worthless, like, he can do okay. He can do some things because he's Galactic Republic, but he isn't going to be able to, like, he can't give the whole team turn meter, for instance. He doesn't He doesn't have that because she disallows that. Uh, you know, Clone Sergeant, he doesn't gain all the bonus turn meter from doing his stuff because she disallows that. Uh, Clone Wars Chewie is still worthless with her because he is has always been worthless. Uh, but he's Galactic Republic and you can kind of delay using his stacks of courage, which is the good thing about him being on the team, right? Like you can, he can hang out and just not do his attacks for a while. And then once he finally has like 20 stacks, which is going to take forever with Padme, then maybe he can go. So I, I don't know, this, this team is going to, you're going to have to put it on offense probably because on defense, I don't, I don't know what, 
I don't even know what to, I don't know what this kills. This is going to be, this is like a B-level team though, unfortunately. Maybe B+, plus, just because these two are really good, and the rest of them, I don't know. It's disappointing to the extreme, but that that's, I think that's how it's going to have to be. I think Kenobi is going to end up being on offense a lot too, so maybe you can just pick and choose if you don't ever, if you don't end up needing Kenobi and his, his awesome team, like you can maybe downgrade Mace, uh, or, you know, promote Mace, put, put Kenobi in here, you know, get, get Ahsoka out of here, who, who really knows, but, uh, I do know that Jedi Master Luke, apparently, um, I labeled this team Jedi Master Luke, but it's actually Jedi Knight Revan, so it's, they only share one letter, and I'm still, well, I'm baffled, uh, but we, <laughs> that's so weird, what happened? <laughs> I'm like, I'm freaking out, man. <laughs> All right, so we have Jedi Revan here, and um, I mean, th this is the counter team to Supreme Leader Kylo, right? Uh, this this is the way you do it. Uh, <laughs> this is the way. But, uh, I mean, we can split it up. We can hang out. Like, I, I almost think we're going to be keeping a lot of Jedi on offense, frankly, because, I mean, you kind of want this team to take out Supreme Leader Kylo, even though other teams can do it. Uh, it's decent on defense. I wouldn't say this is the right team on defense, though. Uh, like, we have Jedi Master Luke here, and he... Uh, oh, here. So we've named two groups Jedi Master Luke. Okay. Hmm. It's confounding as well. So we have Jedi Master Luke... And this is the team that also kills Supreme Leader Kylo. But, I mean, you could actually make a much better team if you kind of switched back and forth and you put, you know, Jedi Master Luke with Jedi Knight Luke. Revan can go with Jolie, can go, he can take Yoda back. Uh, Barris can go wherever. She doesn't, I don't really care about her. Shakti can go wherever. But, I mean, this, these two combine to be a really good team and it's nice to be able to mix and match. These two are pretty potent on their own, but I mean, you, you can you can really, like I said, I keep saying mix and match. Don't don't play a drinking game with me saying mix, mix and match. You may die. So uh, I don't know. Though that's that's how I have them slated right now, and it's going to be very difficult to choose what's going to be on offense and defense. So I saved. I was able to save General Skywalker. Uh, people put Shock T with the clones, and that that's like okay, but. But it's actually, it's not good. Uh, nearly as good as General Skywalker. Skywalker, in that front bottom zone, is going to be so obnoxious. Like, what do you even use to kill him? Like, maybe you use Commander Luke, uh, which is like a kind of flat across the board. Uh, oh, fireworks, guys. Yay, it's fireworks. It's 4th of July here. It's like 2 a.m. and people are firing off fireworks. This is... We're just going to leave it in the video, though. So, enjoy that. Uh, my boys are probably going to wake up. I'm probably going to have to pause this because they're going to be screaming, but... Alright, so... Considerate of those people. Anyways, General Skywalker, in that front bottom zone, what do you kill with it? Commander Luke can kill it, uh, and that's a decent trade. It's like a flat across the board trade. There's not a great other counter to this team. Like, you can use, like, your, your really awful Padme team with Plo Koon in it. <laughs> like, good luck with that. Uh, you can use a Galactic Legend, but you're going to have to take four teams out, and then... But what if they put two or three Galactic Legends in the back? You don't know. No one knows. This is going to be a very tough team to counter. We need to find some other better way to do it. I'd really love to find something like with General Grievous, but uh, that's in the works. I have no idea if it's going to actually for real work. Ray Scoundrels. Um, so th this team, I don't know. Uh, th I've kind of pegged it as, like, I think this is the team I want to use. For now, I'm not sure. Like the Bando team is just really good with her because of all. Like they have a bunch of little synergies together. You can put L3 here instead of Holdo. Uh, you know, uh, Holdo's nice though because she goes with Ray really well. You can put uh, Crit Avoid Arrow on Ray to make people who have Vader modded for uh, crit damage just totally squirm in their seats as they're fifth. They get a full coin flip to do their saber toss and maybe they get their crit. Maybe they don't. Um, I'm probably not going to do that, but you can, uh, you have the ability to do that. And, uh, otherwise like these guys are just so tough to kill. Uh, I've seen people kill Ray early uh, with, with like a Darth Vader team and, and Vader is actually pretty risky here, but, but then they just time out against the rest like this. And these are good players that do this. Like this team, 
This team is just very difficult to counter. Now, granted, the Beskar team is great on its own, on offense or defense, but uh, this, uh, I think on defense, this is probably the pinnacle to me for Ray. Maybe put L3 here instead of the other three, but or instead of Holdo, because Holdo's worthless, and I just watched episode eight, and uh, like the depth of her worthlessness in that movie are epic. Like they are, they are not to be understated. She is, She's so dumb. She's just the dumbest. Anyways, let's let's move on. So uh, the the byproduct of having the Ray Scoundrel team is you have like you have no worries about saving the Hero Bros for that team. You don't have to feel guilty because they're they're almost as good as putting Jedi Training Ray with the team. Like you could combine those two. Honestly, like it used to be the the ideal team would be like Ray with Jedi Training Ray, Holdo, and the Hero Bros. Right? Like that that's the that the Resistance. Uh, Oh, like the amazing one that that like even Sith Eternal has to be really cautious about because if you put Jedi Training Ray on there, then there's going to be healing immunity, and Sith Eternal doesn't like that because if there's the ultimate at the wrong time, things get dicey. Uh, but uh, and and granted, Sith Eternal does kill this Ben this Beskar team pretty easily, but. Uh, the Jedi Training Ray team is just so potent on offense or on defense. Uh, your BB-8 can make them go fast. Uh, it, like has, it forces like any counters to be either really fast or to not care that much about damage. Like this team can it, like Night nice Sisters could normally beat Jedi Training Ray, but but the Hero Bros stop that because they can heal a bunch. They have a, all all sorts of turn meter manipulation that really just makes that makes the Night nice Sisters team uh, really really frustrated. Um. I mean, uh, other teams that can beat it. Like if you use, if you, if they use Commander Luke, sure they'll they'll do it. But for the most part, you're going to steal some banners anyways. And um, I mean, it, it's just a tough team to counter. And your BBA doesn't have to be that fast. Like my BB8, what well, he's 314. Uh, he, he ends up clocking at. It. I don't know, 350 something, something like that, maybe even faster. So very tough to outspeed, uh, and it's a pretty cheap team, of course. This team going inside of the Ray team, uh, and, and it's all this conundrum, right? Of we have to place eleven teams, or at least I do, for Division One. How do we like? How many hybrid teams can I make and still be able to clear? And because this Jedi Training Ray is just so good on its own, and and granted, this Ray team is actually just a hybrid of its of her own. Uh, I mean, you can really just put Ray with a bunch of just like random tanks, and it's still decent on defense. It's gonna like it's very Vaderable suddenly, but it, like. What's the landscape gonna look like? I don't know. I feel like we're gonna end up using some hybrid teams. I think I'll be mixing and matching here and there. Like, stay tuned for my videos or my live streams. We'll probably be <laughs> discussing some of that at least. I'll be showing you guys what I'm doing on with Ray anyway. So, uh, so we have the Supreme Leader Kylo, the two teams. Um, so. You, you can do two things. You can have Supreme Leader Kylo on offense and have him, like, just kind of plan on him not killing a really tough team. Or, like, he, he could probably take out, like, a Darth Revan team with with just himself and, like, First Order Officer and maybe, like, one other. You know, you could do that. Uh, and then and then you can have an idealized crew team where, you know, it's, like, crew... You, you guys saw the videos with me and Endal. It's, like, crew, General Hux, uh, you know... First Order Officer, no, it's not him, um, for Kylo Ren, Red Trooper, or First Order uh, or Fox, I probably already said that, uh, Stormtrooper, like, you can mix and match, but the idea is crew with Hux, another tank, probably, and then a damage dealer, and First Order, uh, I don't know why I've said First Order, he's very clearly First Order Kylo Ren, um, you could do that. You could kind of mix and match. I kind of like this comp though as an ideal. Uh, I know that Phasma's not the most awesome. She could, if you speed her up a little bit, that's good. Hux, you put some tenacity, tons of tenacity on him. Some as in a ton. Uh, Red Trooper put a ton of health on him. Like, like it's crazy. Look at how much health I have on him. Stupid. 128k health on him because it's tough to kill him uh, suddenly. And uh, you know Kylo. Yeah, this this team is this team is good on offense and defense, and then you get another team with this crew squad, and you know th this team can be good on offense or defense, especially on offense though. Like defense, it has a lot of flaws because it, like Hux suddenly isn't if if Hux isn't there, he's not reducing turn meter, etc. 
uh, you know, and that turn meter, is, or preventing turn meter gain, I should say, and that turn meter gain is so huge for this team to prevent. Uh, so on offense, though, they can they can regenerate quite a bit. If you have Watt available, then kick this guy to the curb because he's worthless. And he's not totally worthless, actually. He's, he's actually pretty decent. But Watt on this team makes it get 60 banners against a ton of other B-ish level teams. And that's all this team is at this point, unfortunately. Uh, but you can do that. You can make an idealized team. There's not really a way to make three teams. So, uh, you know, you, you can... You can experiment i guess do it do what you want guys is basically it so silly turtle he is amazing on offense i i think he's one of those characters that you pretty much always put on offense like sometimes there he has a decent defensive comp or something um but man he's just so useful like he takes out ray teams he takes out uh jedi master luke teams he, be, he beats kenobi he does all these things and um watt can go with him you can put armor with him you can put a bunch of like worthless jedi or not <laughs> like fallen jedi like like dooku who used to be a jedi and then he's like you guys <laughs> you guys aren't evil enough i i would like to kill people indiscriminately so i'm gonna join this other team and uh you know you can you can add mix and match. Uh, you don't even need like one of the things that I've done actually. It's kind of fun is you put Gar on the team with armor, and then uh, maybe like another tank or something. And then when Sith Eternal goes, he puts uh, he, he does his his move to you know to Link, and that makes everyone taunt. And then people shoot Gar and kill him. In which case, like they do all this damage to Gar, and uh, before armor even gets a turn, she gets her third stack of best Gar because the Gar is also a Mandalorian, and then she can put that stack on Silly Turtle, who takes the best Gar without even saying thanks, and then summarily executes her, or at least uh, watches as she watches dispassionately as she's just smitten by whatever badass team he's taken out, and then he takes them out because he can't be crit. Uh, it's, it's a cool, cool little combo, like, that. in fact, that's probably what I should have shown, like, Gar plus Armor, and if you do that, you don't really need Watt, necessarily, just keep in mind, uh, sometimes you need Watt instead, because Watt is the only one, when he puts that shield tech on Sith Eternal, uh, Sith Eternal will, every time he takes a turn, dispel things, and so, uh, you know, if they, if it's a team that always does a ton of ability blocks or something, if you can't actually use your ultimate, like, your big lightning ability that kills the people who are linked, uh, you know, the one from the movie that actually doesn't kill any ships, even though it all shows them like, oh, plummeting, oh no, this is so crazy, like, and then it doesn't, no one actually dies from it, um, you know, that ultimate move, like, once, it, it's actually much more effective in the game, ironically, um, <laughs> and anyways, this, like, if you can't do that, if your ability blocked, then then the, it doesn't work. Like, Watt helps and armor doesn't prevent that. So, that being said, guys, these are kind of just the teams that I've been thinking about. Uh, I mean, it's not rocket science. It's, it's mostly just, like, I don't know, common-ish sense. I don't know what we're going to do with Padme. She's, she's such a conundrum. She's... She's confusing as hell. Like you, I've even seen squads with Padme just thrown in with Kenobi. Like, sure, like come, come hang out with us. Like we won't let you die of sadness. Uh, that being said, what are you guys thinking of doing with Kenobi? What are you thinking of doing with Padme? Would love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Uh, if you want to uh, leave a like for this video, I would really appreciate it. Helps the channel grow. Helps everything. Um, helps. <laughs> every single thing it helps guys like it helps everything so equally that it it actually doesn't end up helping anything it just escalates things no um if if you uh, it's a free way to it's a free way to support the channel so like subscribe would appreciate it greatly guys i really appreciate you watching so thank you all so much for watching and remember that in all things zareth prevails and you can too